Okay, hello everybody. Um, and it's Lofi, and uh, I have a whole stupid lot of things to do today. And me being an eternal procrastinator, I decided, why not? I'm going to play a video game first, because that's how I roll. <laughs> so we're going to get this done and out of the way so I can get started on the rest of my stuff today. Uh, but our choice is going to be Binding of Isaac, because... Uh, I asked Pink, you know, it's like, hey, Pink, what do you think my best, uh, my best replays are? He's like, yeah, that Binding of Isaac one was pretty good, so I'm going to go with that. Um, if you guys think you might want to see something else uh, in the meantime, I could try that. But uh, I also wanted to just put out there that I picked up Citizens of Earth and what was the other one? Fuck, I'll remember it later. Anyway. I've picked up a couple of different games, and I want to see what you guys think about them. Because I definitely want to have one like super popular game going, and then one on the side too, maybe. Um, so there's definitely Citizens of Earth, which reminds me of Earthbound. And the other one is Broken Age. Broken Age is put out by Double Fine. And Double Fine is really just a developer of legend in my mind. If you guys have ever played Psychonauts or anything like that, oh, you know. You know how fucking good it gets. All right, here we go. So, um, I've gotten pretty far in the game on the side. <laughs> but I'm going to give you guys a fresh experience since, um, you know, some of you may not know what Binding of Isaac Rebirth is. So I'm going to start a fresh file, and we're just going to go from here. Um, I think to start, I should just do a plain run with Isaac. And, uh, yeah, you'll see, you'll see what the game's like, uh, you know, from the ground up. So, here we go. Everybody else is locked, you'll, you'll see. I have turned the music off because it was, uh, incredibly loud. So, let's see here. I'm gonna try to get up on my mic a little bit more. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a nice chest for the first room. Let's see here. Got a champion. I should probably honestly be playing on hard mode right now. Um, but, you know, this is fun too. I'll switch to hard mode after this if I really smash it. If I die, though, <laughs> I might just need a little bit more practice. Alright, let's see. So that battery's not helping us right now. Oh, there's our item room. Definitely don't want to get hit by these champions. They do a full heart of damage each time they hit. Oh, that's weird. I thought the red ones turned into a red red hamburger and <laughs> came back to life. Looks like it just gave me a heart, though. Right. These guys' firing pattern is a little erratic, so they can be a little worrisome. Oh, man. Already six cents. Uh, what is this? What is this? I'm going to pause and see what it is real fast. I don't remember all of the zodiac signs just yet. Okay, what is that? Ooh, Scorpio. All right. So that there is Scorpio, and Scorpio is pretty fucking good. It gives me poison tears. Yeah, that's the stuff, man. Oh, you got to love the different effects in this game. Yeah, if any of you played the original Binding of Isaac, it's like, wow, they did a really fucking good job making these items sort of play together nicely. Uh, but in this one, man, they really took it to the next level. And everything is just, like, such an experience by the end of the game. You're, like, grinding it out, like, oh my god, I can't believe these items I got, they suck. Or it's like, oh my god, the game is so fucking easy now, because my tears just smash. They smash, like, like the balls of Captain Thundercock himself. Alright. Uh, last room is just a sacrifice room, I think is what it's called. I don't know. I can never really remember the difference between... or, I mean, the, the names of uh, those different rooms. Let's check our likely secret room location. I don't like trying to guesstimate, so let's do... Right above this door here. Alright. Is that it? Looks like it's it. 
And yeah, we got some bombs. Uh, maybe I'll waste a couple bombs. There's the chance that maybe, maybe one of these mushrooms has the, um, what is it? A one-up mushroom or whatever. Ooh, there's a trinket. That's, that's worth it. Maybe one more. I want to keep some bombs just in case I see a soul uh, or a tinted rock. Because I really need one right now. Oof, that was, that was kind of raw. Alright, wish me luck. Luck down! Ah, that's not so bad, I guess. At least we know what it is now. Monstro! Oh, shit. Monstro is like the original concept boss, I think, of this game. And he takes a lot of damage. <laughs> He's pretty predictable, though. Uh, aside from these, like, splashes in his vomit, sometimes it can be really troublesome. Because it comes out in such a pattern that you really can't anticipate it. Except now he's being pretty good to me. He's not giving me too much trouble. Scorpio tears aren't proccing too much, but I think there's like a different modifier when it comes to bosses. See, I kind of just make a run in one direction, and if there's like a bunch going in that direction, I kind of just hope they land before they get to me. Ah! Even more pills? At least it didn't give me another luck down. Alright, two of this. What is it? Oh, wait, that, there wasn't two of those. Health up isn't bad, though. Oh, wait, there was two of those. Okay. What is this? Bad trip. That's not so bad. And I found pills. Okay. Um... Should I do anything stupid? Let's see. Is there any tinted rocks? And any tinted rocks? I have kind of a bad eye, <laughs> so I might... Uh, I might be craning into the screen here a little bit more than usual. I have enough coins to get a um, an arcade on the next floor if uh, if the game's is kind enough. Right, how many hearts do I have lying on the ground? Ugh. And I'm really sorry if I like min max a little bit too much, like try to get like every every last bit out of a floor. But I'm not really that great at the game. Ah, shoot! I don't think it wants to give it to me. I'm not going to put any more into it. I'm just going to take these two hearts and go. I'm not really awesome at the game, guys. <laughs> I'm going to let you know right now. Um, I tried to build up a couple of heart containers for hopefully a devil deal. Let's see here. Really want to get some kind of soul heart before I get hit. Or just like fucking... 100% this floor. It is a basement level and not a uh, cellar level, I think. Or wait, do the poops mean cellar? Shoot, I is it cellar? Basement. Yeah, it's basement, so I don't really have to worry that much. Scorpio's doing good work. I have to admit. Oh! <laughs> what a delightful treat that is. Um, I'm gonna see what else is on the floor first, because I really want that to be awesome, and I think it, it like, lowers my tier rate down, like, a shit ton, so, um, maybe there's strategy involved here in what I pick up first. Because if I get some massive tiers up, um... There we go. And a Tinted Rock. So this Tinted Rock has got like an X on it and it's a little bit darker. I'm having trouble recognizing which ones are in the uh, caves though. There we go. That's my protection against uh, like getting hit here in the boss room. And hopefully if I get through it all without taking red heart damage, there's another Tinted Rock, then I will get a Devil Deal, hopefully. And maybe I can spend some of my red hearts and get some awesome items. Yeah. <laughs> Dingle. This guy's a little funny in his patterns. He, he gave me a lot of trouble at first. Because this, this spread shot, this is like the thing I hate worst about greed. And then he'll just kind of do these little charges. And it's best to kind of just go perpendicular with him. You know? 
make him charge in a straight line and then try to make him uh, over anticipate for the next one. Yeah. I like to work with the um, sort of the horizontal axis of the room. Because this is really kind of like widescreen. And um, if you have them charging left to right, then it's a, it's a bigger distance between the walls. And oh, there you go, monsters too. And stem cells, that's not so bad too. That's just another HP up. Oh, and the pentagram, right on. This is going to be real easy. Uh, I know the game is going to stop us at mom. Um, and she's going to go down like really bad. Or really fast if we have the pentagram. Anyway, what else? I have to shoot the poops. Like the, it'll save you guys. <laughs> the poops and the fire will save you. Now I definitely want to get rid of a lot of this um, extra HP I've got. Uh, not get rid of it. I mean, I'm just gonna try to utilize it a little bit better. by spending it over here in the arcade. I'm gonna do a blood donation machine. Ah, That's not so bad. Ooh. Got us a nickel. Let's go down to half a heart. The game just works better that way, it seems like. I'm gonna play this a little while. Hopefully it gives me an orbital or so. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just gonna... Maybe it's just gonna let me do that. Um, curse room, curse room. Is it a curse room? I don't know. I'm gonna go in here. And get a bomb for my trouble. Ah! So that obviously wasn't worth it. Is this the secret room location? Yes. Since Rebirth came out, there have been a couple of very questionable um, placements for... Wow, that all sucks. There have been a, very, a couple of questionable placements for uh, secret rooms that do not at all follow any sort of pattern that I can recognize. Okay, cross your fingers. Lemon party, right on. That's, one to good to have. Uh, that's a good one to have in the rotation. All right, I got two bombs left. Do I want to check for the super secret room? I doubt it. Um, but... If I'm not a dummy, <laughs> we'll go into our shop, because that is an adjoining room. Oh, excuse me, I got a phone call. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Am I still recording? Yeah, I think I'm still recording. <laughs> Alright, so let's check and see what's in our shop. Uh, is that... Is that just uh, the whatchamacallit friend thingy? Or is that just like the, the fly that bounces around the room? I can't remember. But I definitely want this soul heart. Hive mind. Yeah, giant spiders and flies. This is really cool if you get to be Guppy. And I doubt we'll get to be Guppy before Mom. But, um, you know, if I do happen to get spiders or flies through, like, um, different means, <laughs> then I will. Uh, I'll, I mean, then I'll have those big spiders and flies. So, yeah, whatever. I'm not trying to do the time challenge right now, either. I'm not that good. <laughs> but the time challenge is if you can make it to Mom and beat her within the 20 minutes that the game sort of keeps track of, then um, you get, uh, you get like this extra boss challenge room where you can choose between four items, and then you get an extra boss... Uh, you get an extra boss item after that. So it's pretty nice. Uh, I don't see a lot of the pros doing it, and when I do it, I generally lose more health than I get, but it's still kind of fun doing that. And it is like part of a sort of a statistic that the game tracks, and we'll have to do it to unlock more things in the game, so I, I'll be doing it at some point. Alright, there's our key for our item room. That's nice. And, uh... Yeah, my little IV bag. I'm gonna sort of use it sparingly until I get my like, full hearts again. Oh, $3 bill. Right on. That's a nice... Did I forget Polyphemus on the last floor? I forgot Polyphemus on the last floor. 
Ugh. Ugh, what a shame. What a stupid shame that was. I'll pick it up before I forget it this time. How about that? <laughs> now we have $3 bill with um, our uh, Liberty Cap. Ow! I'm playing terribly. I can't believe I forgot that. That would have been... I mean, that, that kind of seals the deal. The Polyfamous. How silly of me. Alright, and it's not Lemon Party. <sighs> we already know which one Bad Trip is, and that's kind of a lousy one. Tears Down could be really lousy right now. That would really suck. Alrighty. So... Deck of cards? I don't know. That's probably better than uh, my IB bag, to be sure. Let's see if we get a devil deal. Looks like I got number one for the boss. There we go. If you position him right, uh, Chubb will eat his little, his little dudes. And if you got a ton of bombs, you can start throwing them in his mouth, but, uh... Yeah, number one isn't working too bad here. Alright. Alright! Safety pin gives us a black heart and some other things. Unlock Lazarus right on. That's nice. Um, Gimpy is definitely... Like, all this stuff is probably worth it. Oh, I got Proptosis for the room. That's kind of a nice one. Um, that's brother, brother Bobby, right? Yeah, three hearts for all this stuff is probably pretty sweet. I mean, going heavy on red hearts isn't like, you know, a thing you normally do. You just sort of like have them so you can do devil deals. Oh, can I believe I forgot that? Alright, so Gimpy drops hearts if I get hit, like it procs a chance of dropping um, soul hearts, I think. And the other thing was like the missing page or something like that, and it, it increases my drop rate, I think. Like, it either doubles my drops for the room, or it, um, I forget, dang it, I'll have to look it up. I will look that up. So going in here. All right. <laughs> That's a really nice thing to have. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Contact from below. I think this is the one that makes it so that I get twice the stuff in a room. And those are nice. All right. Shall I be checking my secret room, lo room locations? Uh, I don't think it's this room because you really can't access these walls. And I've never seen a secret room adjacent to this sort of room where you just can't access the walls. That includes rocks. You know, if it's like... If the middle of the room is blocked off by something, it's not a secret room location. So, um, again, no guarantee, but this is where I think it would be. Okay, got an extra bomb. Are any of these tinted? Is that tinted? Is that a tinted rock? Yes! See, yeah. Like, that, those color rocks, I can never really tell. But, like, they have an X on them that's bigger than other rocks's, rocks, X's, rocks, X's, I don't know. Hope I didn't forget anything that time. Oh, that Polyphemus would be nice right about now. I'm doing pretty good damage, though. Oh, duh, like, 50-50 right here? Or what, what's it called? I don't know. Two of clubs. Right on. I'm about to get a lot of bombs here. Now I can look for super secrets and that kind of thing. Now let's check what this bill is. Speed down. Aww. It's not so bad, because like I said, my damage isn't isn't terrible. Ah, no! I really hate those spiders. Oh, they're the worst. Like, not only do they have an erratic jumping pattern, but sometimes they just decide they're going to slide across the whole freaking room when they land. Alright, um, I'm gonna go in here now. Bombs? Bombs? Yes! I don't know why I 
wanted bombs. I already have plenty of bombs. Alright, three health I think is supposed to be like a good resting point. And what's this pill? Yeah, yeah if it was a telepills, we could have got out of here for free. But we're gonna take uh, half a half or er, half a black heart of damage. We got another soul heart that'll come back to a full full one though. And how bad do we want this? Let's try this. Hmm. Oh! Fuck us! God damn greedy game! Alright. These guys that shoot the bone are really hard to get used to. Oh, right on, man. Yeah, the, the contract from below and all that other stuff, whatever it is. Oh, look at all these mushrooms. Please blow up next to the mushrooms. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. It wasn't his time. It wasn't his time. No, no, no! Okay, it wasn't his time. It wasn't his time. Now's your time! Lemon Party, right on. Lemon Party does really good against bosses now. Um, let's hope I get like a um, Gertie or something. Right. Really familiar with this room. Pretty easy. We'll just have one of those charging poops on the bottom and top of the room, and then a couple of little poops. Very easy room. So I don't think we're going to want for any more items for the rest of the game. Because, uh... Those two devil items that we picked up that were the pages, I think they take care of a lot of that stuff. Boom, boom, two keys already. We got a good amount of money, too, for our shop. And an attack fly. This is going to be nice. Um, I do pretty good damage from a distance, but if I really want to, like, put the screws to something, I can get in a little bit closer. Right on, man. That $3 bill and, and the, uh, the uh, Liberty Cap are doing some pretty good, pretty good work. I'm getting a lot of interesting tiers. Couple of hearts. Those will be nice if we get an arcade. Alright, what is this? 48 hour energy? Right on. If we get a spacebar item, that'll be nice. I'm moving real slow. That that uh, speed down is is really uh really making me feel it. Alright, we got pride. Keys. And a fool. What was this again? Lemon party? We'll use the lemon party and we'll take the fool down to the next room. Or next floor. How am I doing on time? Yeah, I'm I, definitely not going to do the boss uh, rush. Nowhere near that good. And plus, there's a lot of items you unlock in the meantime that will give you sort of, you know, a leg up on things. That's interesting. I know that gives me more soul hearts on drop, and I don't know, I don't think I need it. I think I can just sort of rely on my damage. Yeah. Sometimes these these Globin guys, I think that's what their names are, will sort of try to skirt you on the side and, and just get you that way, but I don't know. Their, their AI, AI is pretty good, like especially considering where they got from the last game. Oh, there that goes. That's kind of a bummer. Did I take a whole heart of damage from that? Oh my god. I think I did. Is that what one of those contracts does? It like gives me more when I take more damage or something. Alright. Not in a good position to use my fly, and I'm just like taking tons of damage. Alright, let's go in there with flies a blazing. No! The fly, it rotates too quickly. Yeah, I'm awful. We still haven't taken red heart damage, though. So, hopefully we get a devil deal. Ah, there we are, Gertie. Eat the lemon party. Eat lemon party. See how much damage that did? Ah, see how much damage he does to me? 
I really gotta get better at this game. <laughs> it's cool though. You're doing all this will give me practice. Alright, are those Synthanol? Yeah! More damage, range up, and yeah, zombie baby. This guy will spit out one fly at a time to run around the floor. And since we got that uh, hive mind, our fly is going to be really strong. And as soon as it runs into something else, it's called a kamikaze fly, it will destroy it. Ah! I think that includes TNT, <laughs> which is why you don't want to be around that stuff. There you go. What's in our shop? A compass! Right on. There is a distinct lack of items in the shops. It must be something that I unlocked, but I just can't remember what it is. Alright, 15 bombs. Haven't found our secret room, secret room yet. I'm definitely going to do that now. Could be one of these rooms. There it is. I have my sound off, so the, the secret room sound is gone too, apparently. Alright. More money, which is never a bad thing. And I don't think you can get all three of those guys at once. I mean, maybe you can, but I just suck at it. So there was our... Not your, like, normal secret room. If I had to pick... And I'm not going to waste you guys' time, but if I just had to pick one room, that might be it. They seem to always be closer to boss rooms. Oh my god! <laughs> my instincts are pretty fucking good today, guys. I found pills. My pills, however, are not. Not my party. That's nice. Explosive diarrhea. I got plenty of bombs, so... What's this one again? My steam thing is up. Amnesia! Aww, it's a good thing I already um, sort of destroyed the floor. Like, that's the very last room I could have checked, and Amnesia takes away my map, so... Not too upset about it. Here we go. <clears throat> Depths 1. This is the room before the last. And three red chests I have to check. Oh wow, they were all pills. Looks like I got one more lemon party. I forget what the other one, other right, white and red one was. But uh, definitely not a good idea to check, <laughs> check what they are before the room is over. Because uh, this, this game will... This game will own you up while you're picking up pills and cards and stuff. So lemon party, two lemon party, health up, like three. Speed down sucks. We got two speed downs and amnesia and a 48 hour energy. Yeah, that's pretty raw. You can spend these uh, lemon parties though. And it is depths one, so let's just run straight for the boss and kill him. He's not going to be too much of a problem to deal with. Oop. Got a bit of fly damage on that guy. It's one thing that makes Scorpio so nice against these guys. They don't take any damage from the front. Still do damage to him, though. There we are. Proptosis. Proptosis is a nice, uh, definitely a nice thing to have. Oh, I wasn't looking at that right. <laughs> Looks like uh, the way to the boss is down. No! Is the way to the boss down? Shit! The game is fucking with me. Alrighty. There's a big poop. I forget what they're called. I might as well use this. And I got plenty of bombs, I think. <clears throat> Next floor is the last. So I'm going to look for a couple of things here. Excuse me. Skulls will drop. Black hearts, cards, and runes, I believe. But you know what? I don't think we found any runes just yet. I don't want to give up two keys for f um, that many bombs. Would I give up one key for money? Doubtful. What is that? Jesus, that is fast fire rate. It's not number one, I don't think. Okay, so let's see if we can find any 
tinted rocks in here. There, there. You can see right in the very bottom corner, guys, there's a little X on that rock. And that, that really trips me out. Uh, I'm going to burn the bombs just to show you. And plus I have enough. I can always use another heart. See that? <laughs> it's so subtle. More bombs. Can't complain. Might start using them in a combat fashion now. I only really ever use them for utility. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'm going through puberty. Monstro 2. Monstro's cool. Another tinted rock. Can I make him crush rocks? I can't remember. Maybe not. But yeah, that one down in the corner, that's a tinted rock. And you always want to check those, because there's a possibility it could be a small rock. And small rock is what you want. That is damage. Like, just damage and awesomeness. Ow! Did I really just do that? Not really use, utilizing my attack fly very well. There you go. Health up! More health up! Game is being very generous with that. Oh, and a little brim! A little brim is nice. Gives you a little burst that'll help you clear any room. Like anything that's going down the middle. Oh, look at that death touch. I want that. That's the one I would have rather had instead of you, little broom. But I'll take you. You will be my friend. Hmm. Alright. Ten bombs. Wasn't really hurting for bombs, but... It's better than not having them. Alright, so before I burn the key, and I am going to use a bomb to get that other key, by the way, I'm going to check to see if this is a secret room. Is, I have a lot more bombs. Nope. I'm going to see if it, maybe it's the other one. Nope. Okay. Yeah, maybe this game's turning out to be a little bit longer than I anticipated. But I often sort of uh, overcompensate in my play style. Alright, so I got a strength card. That's kind of nice. And Mama, Mama's next floor. So we'll go check the curse room for maybe one last uh, cool item. Who knows? I hope that's the curse room. I can't remember. Alrighty, can we get all those? I get a lot of them! Yeah, we can get a baby with it. <clears throat> oh, there's greed. That's why we got so many shops. Oh, there's a tinder rock. Run into that bomb, greed. Yeah, thank you. So sometimes, um... <clears throat> Well, not sometimes, like, almost every time, if you go down, like, a certain number of floors, you're, you're, you're gonna get greed. Like, it's just so statistically likely. But if he shows up in the secret room, you got a normal shop on that floor. So it's a, it's a pretty kind thing that the game does. Got my reflection here. <laughs> Always makes me uncomfortable. I've had so many bad things happen because of that. All right, and we got spiders. Boo. Boo. And we shall leave. <clears throat> Still doing pretty good. Our damage is hot. Um, let's see here. Uh, super secret room. Not there. Um, not there, not there, not there. Oof. Shall I check for it? Should I really check for it? I don't think I'm going to check for it. I'm not going to waste you guys' time. I am actually wasting your guys' time, but 
<laughs> I won't waste too much more of it. All right, here's a good, good, uh, for instance, of having the, the IV bag. Oh, and there's our Gimpy kicking in. There is our lovely Gimpy giving us a free soul heart. So because we gave up that heart, we're able to get into this boss challenge room. And it didn't have nearly the good stuff that I wanted it to have. Aw, oh, and I'm really playing like a noob now, but Gimpy's making up for it. Yeah. I need to get way better at using Little Brim. If he's uh, a little bit further behind in the baby train, then it's a little harder to, to point him point him at stuff. And right now he's number three for me. <clears throat> Dry Baby does a Necronomicon effect, which is kind of like damaging the room. It damages the room. Man, these, oof, these chests today. Ooh, man. Yeah. Really not liking them. But Dry Baby does Necronomicon effect on the room, and that just means that it uh, sort of does a little bit of damage to everything in the room. Normally enough to kill everything, but he, he doesn't really proc too often, so he's kind of worthless. Looks like I got frozen freezing contacts in that one. There's more bombs! More bombs for keys I don't want to give up. Now, giving up my heart to a donation machine is much better than giving it up to my um, IV bag because um, that machine has the chance of dropping a blood bag. And that's not only an HP up, but it's a speed up. And I feel like I need a lot of speed right now. Alright, three skulls for one bomb is pretty good. And it jack. It freaking. Yeah. <laughs> It jacked me off! Keep getting hit. Gonna look like a noob to all you guys. Ow! Right. Another great thing about having that two for one. Okay, another zodiac symbol. Let's see what this one is. <laughs> that looks like. Is that Taurus? Well, in a hostile room. Oh, yeah, this one. <laughs> this is an interesting upgrade, I will tell you what. So, I'm going to have these little horns, and they don't really mean much. They're aesthetic. There's a different one that gives you, like, ramming speed, and maybe that's, like, I don't know. It, it, it lets you do damage if you run into something, which is a stupid, stupid thing, if you ask me. Uh, but this one will make me go faster and faster in a room that still has enemies present until I gain this little temporary invincibility, which is pretty hot. Okay, I got a fool card. And I went into the self-sacrifice room without using it, so that's kind of dumb. Fool card and a strength card. <clears throat> this is the last floor. Temperance. It's not bad. I'll just pop it there. If I get like a shit ton of hearts for some reason. Just burn this one while we're at it. Mmm. Me old throat's drone out uh, drying out. Okay. Oh, that's scary. That is scary. Those guys that uh, have the like the not brain on the outside, on the other side, the two-faced ones. Those guys will fuck you up, man. If you're not fast enough, and they get the drop on you, and they'll just push you into a corner and make short work of your run. I'm gonna keep pumping hearts into that one. I probably should have chose the one in the arcade, but that one's closer. See that zombie baby doing good work with that fly, man. That, like, as so long as we stay close to an enemy, even if it's got a ton of HP, it's gonna fall to that, like, real fast. Yeah. Got a healthy surplus of items and money now. Um, we'll check the super secret likely location. And, uh, maybe we'll go back and look for a secret room, but honestly, th this fight's over. 
I think. Like, if, if $3 bill gives me something good in there, then it's gonna be awesome. And I got a fool card, so we'll just, you know, if I get something bad, I'll, I'll pop back out and see what I get the next time. Alrighty. Nope. Like, for some reason, they're always right next to the boss room. And there's usually, like, spirit hearts or soul hearts or black hearts, that kind of thing. I think I'm done. Oh. Ugh. Alright. Alright. What the fuck am I doing? I'm not even gonna do it. I was gonna go and grind that freaking blood donation machine, but it's stupid at this point. What am I thinking? I'll just go in there, I'll pop my strength card, I'll make short work of mom. I'm always trying to scan the floor, or er, the, uh, the layout of the room for another tinted rock for some reason when I get to mom. There we go. There's my little invincibility. Isaac was cold. <laughs> and there's the end. His mother, fueled so with quick, the so quick. to serve her god, was bearing down All right. on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. <laughs> Such a good game. Such a good game. Alright, let's see what we got. We unlock the womb. We unlock challenge 20. Unlock the harbingers. Cube of meat. And those are good. And the bandage ball. Those are all really good upgrades to unlock. So thank you very much for joining me for this episode of Binding of Isaac. Um, I'll be having more coming out very soon. Boy, man, me and my speech impediment. I'll have more coming out very soon. And I hope you all join me for that too. Bye-bye. Thank you.